Okay, we are going to work on addition problem with two fractions that have different denominators, and we're going to use our fraction circles. As we know, we need to have the same or a common denominator to be able to add two fractions. So what we'll start with is building our numbers, which is 3 halves and 4 thirds. And now what we need to do is to find, with one of our other fraction circle pieces, um, a piece that will fit into both. So let's try an eighth and see if this will work. Well, it looks like an eighth will fit. So we have four eighths as one half, but now will they fit in the thirds? So we use those same pieces to play down. A little bit hard to tell, but this this overlaps, so eighths are too big. So we're going to try another one. Let's try twelfths. No, let's try sixths. Okay, so our sixths fit. And our halves, will they fit in our thirds also? Yep, they sure do. Okay, so now we know that we have three sixths for each half and two sixths for each third. So we want to make our exchanges. So I already have this one. So I'm going to take that away, and I'm going to bring three sixths down for this half, and I'm going to bring three sixths down for this half, and I've made all of those exchanges. And now here, I have these two sixths already exchanged for this third. I need two more. We'll make that exchange. Two for this piece, and two for this piece. Okay, now we have equal fraction pieces. So we're going to start piecing these together to create a whole. Okay, so there's that half shape. Okay, so there's one. And I think we'll get to do some more exchanges.
add together these last pieces. Okay, so now what I have found is I have these two holes, this one's a hole, so we're going to exchange this for one hole and drag that out of the way. And this is also a hole. This one is this. There we go. And this is also a hole, so we're going to exchange that for one hole. And these are individual pieces. So our answer is 2 and 5, 6. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5, 6.